What's good everybody? This is your boy DV Kits, man. We're back with another video, man. This is the first video that I'm recording in 2022. So I did drop two videos already, but first one I'm recording in 2022, man. And today is going to be a, a banger. So we have the patent Air Jordan 1 bread. It's going to be a two-part video. So first portion is going to be me not doing a deep dive review. Me just giving my thoughts and opinion on the patent Air Jordan 1 bread instead of doing a full in-depth review. And then everything that you guys came here for, which is the how to style portion, will be the entire rest of the video. So sit back, you know what I'm saying, get you some coffee, get you some little drink, depending on what time you're watching this, man. Relax and enjoy this video. First things first, man, big shout out to Miss DB Kicks, LB Kicks. I don't know, one day we're going to get a cool name, man. But anyways, uh, she did hit on the sneakers app for me. Just so nonchalant with it. I said, hey, you know, babe, can you go... Put in um, for the patent breads for me. You know, we're in Florida on vacation. She's like, yeah, she does it. And a minute later, it's like, oh, I got them. I couldn't get them. I never <laughs> can get my own stuff on the sneakers app. But anyways, I do like the box. You know, the colorway is just black, varsity red. So OG style box, it just has a gloss to it. Size eight is my personal size. Now let's talk about the kicks, man. I mean, need I say more? It's a patent Air Jordan 1. Um, and the original style bread colorway. In my opinion, if you are going to keep a patent leather sneaker in your collection, a patent leather Jordan 1, this is the one to keep. I've had other pairs in the past, or maybe one pair, I don't remember. They look good, man. I really like these. The red, even though it's patent leather and it's kind of in your face, the red, in my opinion, is not, it's not like a very bright red, which I'm glad they got it right. So if you actually hold these up next to the leather pair, I mean, obviously these have a gloss to it, but when it comes to the color, they pretty much got the color right. You guys can see that, you know, the colors is spot on almost. The outsoles, I will say the outsoles are brighter on the new ones, but maybe it's because I rocked my leather pair. Even though it's patent leather, it's, it's actually a nice thick cut of patent leather. When it comes to my opinion on this sneaker, I think it's really good, it's really dope. I do like the Jumpman hang tag. Um, and one of the best things I feel like when it comes to the patent leather Jordan 1, it's going to crease, but me personally don't walk around being scared to crease the shoe because it's just going to, it's just going to make it harder for you to wear the shoe if you care about that. Um, and also, you know, I feel like these are going to be really good for rain and snow. So this is one that you can wear in the rain and snow and not have any problem. It's just going to repel right off of the sneaker. So I, I think it's really good. It's super classic. I like the family hit on the inside of the shoe. Let's get into the how to style portion of this video. All right, so just a quick sign up before we get started, man. I'm not telling you guys, you know, this is what you have to wear. This is how to style. So this is inspiration. This is how I like to style my sneakers. And I just want to give you guys some tips on how I like to style my sneakers. And like I've said in my previous video, my model for this year, I'm not buying outfits. We're not searching for fits man we buying pieces and when the fit comes together it comes together so let's kick it off with the first fit starting off with hoodie man this is starting off with hoodie this is a hoodie you gotta go with the nike lab hoodie i did do a comparison between this and the fleece this is much higher quality gray and white mini suit super minimalistic ralph lauren polo jeans these are the solomon slims a lot of people have asked me about these pants these pants, you can actually get that that style, the Sullivan Slim. You can find them in your Polar Outlet. They're always there. They do recycle through different um, through different washes and stuff like that. So you might not be able to find that specific pair, but you can go into a Polar Outlet and get you a pair of Sullivan Slims. I love them, and what I like to do, I did tailor these so they fit even better. They sit perfect on the Air Jordan One or any sneaker. I purposely got them tailored just. To make them perfect you know what i mean capped it off with a red and white supreme cap you guys don't have to go and find supreme caps you can do any fitted cap you wanted i've been on fitteds a lot harder lately i'm just trying to get my collection up so that's why you guys will see mostly like the same fitted cap throughout the whole video but i i mean you can do nba fitteds i mean i prefer mlb fitteds marlins you know i'm from florida so i rep the marlins you can do one of those fitted caps and just you know Super chill. This is like one of those outfits you don't really want to think too hard. You just you just want to throw it on. You just want to go. White tee under it. Nothing crazy. 
let's go to the next outfit it is my favorite brand right now and this is from honor the gift you guys seen me style this t-shirt on instagram but i'm rocking the honor the gift t-shirt with a pair of black taylor cargo pants these are like a light olive kind of playing off of that htg on the shirt you guys see what i did there with the red bird pat red jordan ones olive pants always go with sneakers i'm telling y'all i've been wearing olive jeans for like 10 years bro man you want to wear something slight streetwear slight designer almost these hit for about 50 dollars per t-shirt here you go honor to give so it wouldn't be right if i didn't include a jacket to go with this outfit because it is winter time that makes sense right so this is a trench coat from cotton on real simple and it's like a faded black that's what i like about it i've had this coat for years but i'm pretty sure you can find something very similar or better if you did go to cotton on cotton on is cheap i think i probably paid 30 bucks for this jacket and it just looks good man it, it fits well with the the wash of the t-shirt and it hits very nice off of the light olive cargos and the patent breads man like this shoe i'm telling you guys that's the whole point of this video this shoe is way more versatile than a lot of people might think it is all right let's warm it up a little bit all right this is a outfit featuring a j crew red and black buffalo check flannel but this is sherpa line with the cream lining and the nylon on the inner sleeve i love this flannel and i'm so mad because i have not actually gotten to worn this out yet and the jeans i went with was the unico salvage denim these are a slim fit they are not skinny jeans i did not tailor these i left these alone salvage denim will give you that worn in look you just wear them over and over and eventually they're supposed to look better with the more you wear them i like the way these hit with the patent breads man with the little red selvage stitching on the outside of the pants i like that that's a smooth look in my opinion and i threw on a black fear of god fitted cap because it just looks really well with the flannel like you can't go wrong with it with the cream f on it and a black carhartt work in progress t-shirt how can you not love this outfit this is super classy you know you're a matchy matchy person this is it red and black red and black shoes you can't miss with this outfit this might be my favorite low key man this is like that dressy outfit the shoe is patent leather so i figured why not wear something that's gonna be you know fit with the theme of the shoe you know when we wear 11s you can dress 11s up you can wear 11s with a suit you can do the same thing with these i decided to just go real smooth with it a black cardigan this is from h&m i will try to link any pieces that i can find in the description box below cardigans must be hot right now because i searched all over h&m this is literally the only one that i could find in my size and all black but it is a slim fit cardigan it fits so nice it's super comfortable i also went with the all white h&m long sleeve t-shirt this is such a smooth outfit you've got like a darker wash denim these are from american eagle this is a slim flex pair of denim i actually tailored these too man so that's why they just look the way that they look i'm telling y'all i'm gonna make a video about tailoring your pants all right but anyways i capped this off with a kid beanie classic looking beanie it's just black and white super warm because this is for those a little bit colder months and you know if i had to throw in a jacket to warm up i would probably do like an overcoat this is a black dickies eisenhower insulated jacket i love this jacket only thing that sucks about it is how much lint that it does attract all right kept the same t-shirt on black carhartt work in progress t-shirt no need to switch it up here for the bottoms i went with a pair of jordan woven pants i got these pants for the low some months back these are fire they like that golden wheat color but i decided to wear these not because they're only jordan but they got a red and white jump man patch on the left pocket it's perfect you know just that little bit of color sometimes is all you need and if you guys really pay attention this gold zippers on the dicky jacket it accents the pants perfectly so this is a smash outfit in my opinion and if you want to relax the pants you can actually adjust the strings at the bottom so they can kind of float over the pants or if you want them to be tight like a pair of joggers all you got to do is pull that nylon string these are probably sold out everywhere at the moment so i apologize for that but i love this look last outfit i figured i'd give you guys a spring look since spring will be here before we know it you know what i mean but anyways vintage this is what i'm rocking right now a vintage 1992 chicago bulls easter conference final t-shirt i love this shirt it's red black it's got the 92 and royal blue silver accents on it 
and it's also got a gradient fade to it. I love that because I, I, I kind of played off of that because the shirt is actually like fire red. The bread one is a darker red. So I kind of played off of just the gradient lettering on the shoe. And that's how you do it, man. You just, it's the details. You look closely. Pair this with a pair of Nike woven shorts, you guys. For the return of subs, I love my woven shorts. And I think these are still going to be hot this spring and summer. I don't see these really going anywhere, especially in all black. You can't go wrong with the white drawstrings. Gotta hit the patent breads with the white tube socks. Nike, Polo, uh, Stance, whatever socks you want to go with. Just please don't go with Adidas or another brand. It's gonna look, it's gonna look crazy. This shirt was actually made in the USA, and my cousin he thrifted it, so that's how I got it. You throw on a hat if you want. A hat would be even better. You can do something like a deep royal and red, maybe to kind of play off the '92 on the shirt. The options with this outfit are endless, and this is just a super chill outfit. I think it would even be fire. I'm not too into lace swaps, but if you can get your hands on a pair of white Jordan 1 laces, you'll kill it like that as well. That was a fun, exciting video to make. Man, let me know what was the best outfit. Seven different looks for the Air Jordan 1 patent bread. You gotta like at least one, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping that I could inspire you guys to put together some dope fits and just wear your sneakers, man. When I do these outfits, it, it definitely encourages me to go ahead and wear my kicks. There's no point in them sitting in a box. It's just no point, all right? I appreciate you guys coming through, man. Showing love to the channel. Don't forget to follow me at DB underscore kicks. If you didn't notice for my returning subscribers, I did adjust my YouTube name a little bit. It's no underscore. Only difference, so it's just straight DB kicks. There's a reason behind that. All right, it's time to make some things official over here. And your boy, DB kicks, is out.